another round of the driver career mode that I'm in, racing in Formula 2. We're at Saudi Arabia for the penultimate round of this shorter season, of course, running to the to the 2021 20, pandemic sort of championship rules. And we've got a very good chance of winning the championship for Formula 2 in this uh, in these two races that are going to be streamed today. So it'll be interesting to see how I get on around this circuit. It's not an easy circuit, Jeddah. It's quite a, a difficult one, especially in the Formula 2 cars, which do have a tendency to, to understeer. But... I am looking forward to it. There we are, we're 58 points clear in the championship. It's 25 points for a win in the feature race, 15 for a win in the sprint. So if as long as I can outscore my nearest rival by 18, well, have an 18 point uh, loss in this championship, then these next two races, then I should be fine. I, I bottled all of that together, didn't I, really? But basically, yeah, if I... If I'm above 40 points, then I am pretty much going to be champion. But I've got to also factor in the fastest lap points in pole, haven't I? This whole intro has been an absolute nightmare. It's been the worst intro I've ever done. Um, but we're starting P10 uh, for the sprint race. Yes, we qualified on pole. And we're in the best position possible for hopefully securing... A, a championship maybe even in the sprint race if we've got the pace uh, but I've got to say the field is quite closely packed together so I, I can't imagine I'm going to make up too many places but I do want to direct you to something quite incredible uh, if we go to the race director Daruval is on pole Oscar Piastri is second but look who's starting seventh Alessio has got himself into the top 10 in qualifying he qualified fourth and he's starting seventh so i've got my teammate with me for the first time this season inside the top 10 with me so i'm looking forward to that hopefully alessio can help us out for the championship we've also got the first time this season a dams car in the top 10 they've not scored points this season yet armstrong qualified in sixth position in qualifying so he starts fifth for the sprint so that's good for good for Marcus I'm sure he'll be happy with that Vashore right with us of course one of our main championship rivals and not a surprise about who's at the back but let's get it underway I'm looking forward to this I imagine that overtaking is going to be at a premium around here Could be wrong. Took some qualifying outside of the top ten, so not ideal for his championship chances. Good for me though. But the sure he's had a good season. Whether he'll make it up into Formula One in 22, I don't know. Whether we'll make it into F1 in 22, I have no idea. I don't know who I'm going to be. Scout with Bible talk to a number of teams, but got to win this championship first to make sure that we've got every possible opportunity. But yeah, racing around Saudi Arabia over daytime is a bit of a, a bit of an odd one for me, to be honest. I'm not used to it. Loads of cranes around this place for some reason. Not just because of safety cars, of, of course, but lots of cranes around buildings. I haven't finished the place yet. Not expecting any rain, of course. It is Saudi Arabia. Let's does not forget. So, it'll be a dry 10 lap race. No threat of rain, which is good. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Drogovic. Drogovic has looked quick actually all the way through the weekend. He, he was fastest in practice. Um, you know, he start, he, you know, he's qualified third. He'll be one to watch, I think, for the these pair of races. I reckon he might have a, a shot at the start. But I'm really curious to see how Delayda gets on. Whether he'll help me out or not.
but it's nice to have a teammate in the top 10 who can help me. Let's not lose the back end at the final corner, that'd be ideal. Tictum has just driven through me, that was a bit weird. We're on the inside line for the first race, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing to be honest. Spot on. Do the AI make mistakes when it comes to parking on the grid? I don't actually know. Oh, it was a little bit sketchy, but we got away with it. The ladies had a poor start. I've got someone up my inside and someone on my outside. How we've got through all that, I don't know. The ladies been jumped by both Drogovic and Vashore. I don't really know how I've got away of not getting da damage. And as I say that, Samaya has just turned us round like an absolute moron. I just want to watch this. What was he doing? What was he doing? Like a tool. So we got damage now. And we're down to 19th. Great. What a start. What a start. Oh, Boshung hitting the back of his team out. I'm going to go around the outside of him. So Samaya's got damage obviously for driving like a prat. Oh, Beckman's going to try and squeeze me. Don't squeeze me there! That would be a terrible idea. Run so wide. Samaya is still trying to be an idiot, and Beckman's through. But yeah, we're off and away. Thanks to Samaya being absolute mongoloid, we're down to 16th, and we've got damage to contend with. And I've run so deep at the final corner. <sighs> well, that's not ideal. Beckman's got slipstream here. I don't know if he's, he, he's going to look. Not letting Beckman through, I'm not being funny. Yeah, Samaya in the pits, as he deserves to be. Colossal anus. All right, I'm gonna try and catch this lot. It's gonna be really difficult because they've all got slipstream. They can tow each other around the track. And if I lose contact with them in terms of DRS, which I am at the minute, and they end up having DRS around the lap, it's gonna be so tough. So I've got to push as hard as I dare right now. Oh, that doesn't help. Nor does that. There's a yellow flag up ahead. I'll show you that's for. Oh, Sato's gone. The guy I was trying to catch. I've got Guan Yu in front of me. Here's the next one. So, not a good day for the. Um, is it Sharu's? I don't know who he drives for. Piastri, fastest lap of the race. He's right at the front group. I've now set fastest lap of the race, but it's not enough to get me on the back. 
this group. I need them to keep fighting so I can catch them. It's Bobby Schwartzman there in 13th. I think we're just going to latch onto the back of this group. We have done that, was lucky. It was a huge, just a tray, a sea of cars. And that's going to be the first use of the flashback. I don't know what I did there. You know what I did wrong? Well, I, I do know what I did wrong. For some reason, I went down to fur gear and then forgot to shift up, which is what I've been doing. I was like, oh, I can get around there fur without it spinning round, obviously. Herder. Slow on, I'd have to think DRS then. Oh, go on, he's a bit slow. Whoa, okay. Okay, got that wrong. Gotta make sure I don't lose DRS to the. Oh, sugar, I am as well. I'm gonna lose DRS for that. Nice. Has Beckman caught up? It's almost impossible. Okay, so far not so good. Oh, I'll get it stopped. So slow through there. Oh, really? So that's clever. It's got to be damaged even more, why not? Train. The lady is doing a good job at holding people up by virtue of being himself. Do you see how r wide he ran then going into <laughs> in the final corner? He was so offline. And Bobby Schwartzman in front of us. Whoa! That. Wow. I've got to watch that again. Caught me out on the brakes. Oh, how did, how did I get away with that? Wow. All right, let's carry on. Has actually lost touch with the 
the cars in front of him. So here's something strange that I've just noticed. The AI, when they go around that right hand, that turn DRS off. Why do they do that? That's that's really odd. Up to 13th. I spent quite a lot of this season looking at the back of this scow in various races. And for quite long periods of time, especially in Bahrain, I remember it particularly well. I don't want that to happen again. Pick a lane. Oh, brilliant another AI it's turned in on me Tickton was really slow turn DRS off around the corner why do they do that no idea but as a result, what to 11, despite a massive wiggle. Tickton's going to have DRS on me. Well, well obviously, because he's right, I mean, momentum, I should say. And can we get back to the points? Excuse me. The lady's got himself back onto the rest of the gang in front. Getting his first points in F2 here. Close, you want to get back to the back of that car. Uh, again, see what I'm doing? I'm doing it in third gear. Which I shouldn't be doing. to 10. I'm actually not going to have an unlimited amount of DRS next season. Um, I'll have a hard limit on it. I think maybe, I don't know what the limit is. I think it's 5. I'll have that. Here we go. We're in 10th in the points. We have a point to make. Is he going to defend? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he let me go. Through there. 
the light has lost DRS. It's going to give him a helping hand, a bit of teamwork. Because I want him to score points, we need it for the championship. DRS now, so it should be alright. I don't have DRS. Trying to help the laser out as much as I can. Come on, Alessio. Can't help him any more than that. I've got to get on with it now. Bastard car. Oh, that was miserable, that cover. Just on the outer limit of DRS at the minute. Oh, I think poor Cher's got past Alessio, but Alessio's fighting back. I've hit the wall like a moron. Didn't damage anything by the look of it. I think the Formula 2 damage model is actually broken. Massive fight going on, delays now three seconds behind. We've got to try and get the shore if we can. I don't know if I'm going to be close enough. Tickdom has somehow got past both Del Alessio and Tickdom. So we just do a fastest lap of the race. At this point, I don't really know why the AI is so insistent on trying to defend that line when you can get two cars very comfortably through that corner. Dams are going to score points, though. Armstrong's in sixth. Should I do a last-minute dive bomb on Drogovic into the final corner? Try it. Hmm, I don't know if I'm close enough. Ah! Not going to be enough, but A will do. That's a recovery drive. I'll take it. That could have been a lot worse. Driver of the day, as is fair. So as they climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? Although the Formula 2 car are all the same spec, the winner just looked better out there. It would have been a combination of...
of getting those tires up to run the temperature faster and driving to the condition on track. They made it look easy out there. Today. So yeah, it was a derivler. Looks like he's won. So well done to him. As we can see, it's time for the podium. Ah. Uh, I think that's Loss. No, it's Oscar Piastri in second. I can't. No, he's third. There we go. The driver's celebrating. The Ruvula with another good result from this season. We're getting a bit more XP. Which is good news. Um, so yeah, so we ended up a fastest lap as well, so that's an extra an extra point there. Two points rather. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. So let's have a look at these standings then. So Bobby Schwartzman is now 61 points behind. Um, behind myself. Tickdom 64, the short 69. Sato is on 71. But with the amount of points that are left, Sato can't catch. He's mathematically out. For sure is, I think he's right on the X. It's four points for the fastest lap in the sprint, isn't it? So if the sure wins every race, which is the two feature races left in the sprint, and gets pole position in Abu Dhabi, and gets fastest lap of the next race, and I don't score any points, he wins the championship. But on the flip side, Bobby Schwartzman has to outscore me by 11 points in the next race, in the next in the feature race of wise. I will be champion. Look at this though. Marcus Armstrong gets himself some points. And dams are no longer right well, they're still right at the bottom, but they're not as useless. Carlin are up to Second in the in the championship, and there's the idiot Sharouche Samaya. Let's have a look at that. Let's look at these highlights then. Start wasn't bad, um, to be honest with you. Just wasn't particularly spectacular for any particular reason. Just got off the line, average enough, and then. You've got Samaya diving one down the inside in a gap that wasn't really there. We managed to hold on. And then you get to see Samaya's antics in a minute. So he's quite far back from where we are. And Samaya decides, I'm going to send it. There's no room there. and just takes me out. Luckily we didn't have any front wing damage. But I dropped right the way down to 19th. as a result so then that was the the climb back through the field trying to get past Beckman who just wanted to squeeze as much as he could and then I, I just launched it up Samaya's inside because I thought I don't really give one because it's when you took me out And then trying to get past Joe up the inside, ran too deep. Back we go again. Second attempt on Joe on lap four. He's going to Alfa Romeo next season on the brakes. And then turns into me, even though I'm there. You can get two cars through that corner as well, that's, that's the stupid thing. It's angled, it's banked that way. And back behind Bobby Schwartzman. Trying to do something. Then around the outside. The AI is shutting the DRS off amazingly through there. But we got the move done. Up to 13th. 
past Tictum already at that point and then up the inside of poor Cher as he like locks wheels with me for some reason and then Alessio oh we didn't see Alessio Alessio went down to 14th but we crossed the finish line in 8th didn't show that massive slide we had but never mind on the brakes what was on the race director any incidents yeah collision with me he only got a warning for that would you believe it uh, and I got a warning for exceeding track limits when I was broad sideways and trying to recover nice one and Samaya had his front wing change because he's an awesome moron so that was the sprint which was entertaining too entertaining for my liking and now we've got the feature race so all I've got to do is just if I can finish third I think the championship's mine so that's the aim 14 laps tyre wear won't be an issue round here We've already seen this, so let's get to the qualifying starting grid. Oh, happy days! But take a picture, Alessio's fourth. And then he's got the racist next to so Alessio needs a decent start this time around. His start was poor. I think that's why he ended up not finishing the points, which is unlucky. There he is, Guilherme Samaya. He's not making it to F1. Uh, Sato Bushung. And Nisani, who I'm not really surprised by. We've got the AMG safety car for this race. But, um, yeah, big moment for, for me. 61 points in front of Bobby Schwartzman 64 in front of Tickdom, 69 in front of Vashaw but Vashaw needs me to not score points so there's Bent nice one there's, there's the front wing moron let's get on with it so strategy is medium to soft honestly it makes complete sense Let's have a look what everyone else is doing. They're doing the same thing. So let's get into it. That's so strange. I'm looking at the indicator in the top left corner. It says me in P1 and Alessio in P4. I mean, Alessio never even scored points in Formula 2 last season. Last year, I should say. Oh, yeah. So to see him that high up is... It's almost in the realms of fantasy. Not that I dislike Alessio, I just think he's... A guy, an Italian man with a lot of money who gets to, who went racing. I can't begrudge anybody that. Although he is a bit of an idiot, up from what I've heard. But I don't know. Never met the guy. For sure, my favourite F2 driver, he's right behind us. I've made it known my feelings why I like Richard for sure. I just think not only is he a businessman who's got his own merchandise, but he organises all his own sponsors, he does all of that. And I appreciate someone who puts in quite so much effort to make sure they're on the grid. You know, I don't think last year was a fair representation of him. I don't think the car or the team were quite right for him. He's doing better this season. I don't know if he'll ever make it to F1, but it's unlikely because he doesn't really have the budget compared to those like Joe or someone like that. But I could, he's a good kid. I like the guy.
Let's try to do. So let's hold it. Hold it on the grid, let's get a decent start. Aha, I've spun up the rears. That was clumsy, wasn't it? That's a good start from Vashore. It's a great start from Alessio. The AI are just giving me enough room. Alessio's right behind me. We're side by side. I can't give any more room than that, but we've got through. And we're in the lead after the <coughs> first race start. Now all we've got to do is just keep the pace, not run wide like that. And get a move on. Wasn't the best launch for me, unless you had an amazing start. What I need to do now is try and break away and break the DRS. If we can get Alessio up into P2, that would be biblical. Sure, it's just about keeping up. That's really annoying. Just trying to break the toe, but all I've done is actually just invite him onto the back of me. And Alessio's not keeping up, which isn't a good sign. That's DRS broken, because the AI are really slow through Sector 1 for some reason. Even Armstrong is in 4th. We could end up in a hilarious situation where Roy Nassani is the only driver who's not scored points this season. Which would be appropriate. Alessio's lost DRS. He's going to go down the order. definitely feel the difference between Sector 1 compared to an F1 car and an F2 car in terms of the grip. Because you could just 
lift off the brakes in an F1 car and it'll the ground effect of course will just pull it around the corner but in the F2 it just doesn't want to do that it's relying more on mechanical grip than anything I think we need to have a look at the AI difficulty for next season as well I think it's too low should probably put it at about 99 or something like that oh that's a bad corner I haven't got any damage though I don't think nope all good oh no last time they said there was an issue I ended up retiring there's going to be an issue isn't there I'm going to break down, aren't I? Ah, oh, it's happened again. I pulled him over. I can't. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, we were so quick. And we're out. A second retirement. Oh, I'm devastated. Can't believe it. That's it, we're out. So another fantastic victory for Uni Virtuosi have won it. So, Drogovic won. Drogovic was four fifth. Ah, uh, I can't believe it again. We've retired. Marcus Armstrong's finished second, so it's a first podium for Dams. Where is Richard Vashore? For sure, he won't let you down. Has he been let down? That's uh, the racist in second. What's happened to Alessio as well? I'm so I'm so confused, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea. I'm just watching the podium celebrations because mainly just building up my own suspense. I have no idea who's won. Um. Let's have a look. So I get 300 XP and no bonus. So Vashore finished fourth. Alessio's ended up outside the points in 11th. How has that happened? Porsche, Lungard, Bobby Schwartzman got a point. Um, the fastest lap was a 43.6 beats my fastest lap Ticktum retired as well um, let's have a look at these team standings so we're still top of the team standings with one round to go the driver's standings we are champion <laughs> yay so I have won the championship through retirement that is incredible I cannot believe it. That's great news. I'm also really baffled at what's just happened. Um, but there we are. That's it confirmed. The, the amount of points on offer left is 40... No, 50. Uh, and there's 57 between me and Vashor. So that's it. We are champion. That's incredible news. It's not the way I would have wanted to have done it, but... Oh, there we there we are. I can't believe Alessio's not scored a point from all that after qualifying fourth. Ah, it's heartbreaking that actually. He's two temp less than two temps off a point. <sighs> Mad race, probably. I can't even view highlights. But we're champion. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look at the results from the weekend. 
crazy. What, what a weird weekend that was. I might as well advance. So Abu Dhabi, the final round of the season. I'll do another episode for for Abu Dhabi, of course, like I do for all of these. Each race gets an individual episode, but I've, I've just I'm a bit I'm a bit. Def I mean, I'm very happy. I've won the championship, but I've won it in the pits. <laughs> Crazy. Right. Well, in any case, thanks very much for watching. As always, I'll. Of course, export these over to YouTube so you can have a watch of them if you want to uh, in your own spare time. Do make sure you've followed and subscribed if you haven't done so already. But I'm Jack TM53 Synopsis, and you're looking at an F2 champion, and I'll see you very, very soon.